Hello people, hello world! This is Isa from Asia and welcome to my little tiny home. If you are new here, I just want to let you know that I'm doing this video for fun. You are not obliged to subscribe in this channel. If you are here to watch the video, I want to thank you so much. But if you want to support my channel, then it's even better so we can see each other more often. Okay, the content of this week's video is about my superlative bags. I think it's been a month or more than a month since my friend Julie of Agent Bag Reviews. Hi Julie! Uh, she tagged me. Uh, she posted this video about her superlative bags. She picked 10 bags and she categorized them. You know, like which one is her least favorite or least used one, most used, most expensive and stuff like that. So today I am going to do the same thing. I picked 10 and categorized them with such and such. <laughs> but yeah, before we start, let me zip my coffee. I need a coffee. And so again, Julie, thank you for the tag. And I'm sorry at the same time. Um, it's been long overdue. And yeah, it's better late than never right so yeah here i am to support your tag video and if you guys have not visited um or subscribed to my friend julie's youtube video kindly visit her youtube channel please she's such a lovely lady she does great bag reviews and so yeah anyway let's start with my okay let's start with my least used bag most of these bags are from coach so of course what to expect and my least used bag is the this one this is the coach Hadley Hobo 21 I don't know why I don't reach for this bag that much I think I've used this bag twice and this has been in my possession for probably seven eight months i don't know yeah i think it's because when i purchased this when i saw this one from the iconic website when i saw the word hobo i thought it's the bigger one and so when i received this bag i was a bit disappointed that it's this tiny but look i think it's cute it is pretty and I love the quality of the leather. It is made of beveled leather. It is not lined with anything. It is also leather inside. And I think also because it doesn't have much security on this bag because it's so easy to open. And I'm kind of paranoid when I go out. And also the strap, the crossbody strap, is too long I had to add four or five holes on this one but then it has this extra tail you see this one here and it's I mean yeah it's just too long just too long for me am I gonna keep this one I like seeing this bag again I I'm weird I know I'm weird I like seeing this bag on my shelf but I'm not using it and uh, either I sell this one or I give it away to my relatives or family members or friend who knows but yeah this is again my coach Hadley Hobo 21 in chalk color my least used bag and now let's move on to my most used bag I'm going to show you two of my most used bags because you know weekdays we go to work and on non-working days you know we have errands to you know to run and my most used work bag which is I featured this bag a few times already on my channel and this is the Longchamp Longchamp or Longchamp Le Pliage in large size and it is in cognac color the green edition see the green one and so yeah what else can i say about this bag because it's so straightforward made of nylon and um so yeah 
So this is the green edition again, like that, made of nylon. What else can I say? <laughs> yeah, so straightforward. My most used work bag, which is the Longchamp La Pliage. And the other one that I use when I'm not working, when I run errands, go to shopping, groceries, lunch, dinner, you know, stuff like that, is my coach camera bag in pebble leather the older version with the twist lock feature or turn lock feature that i love so much i featured this bag as well on my last week's video was it last week or two weeks ago sorry two weeks ago and yeah i love this one so much i cannot count how many times i've used this bag countless countless times and so yeah with a back pocket just it come it comes with this cross body strap that, which is detachable and yeah my most used uh bag the next one my most complimented bag which is this one i I know maybe some of you will be surprised why this one is my most is the most complimented bag of mine yeah but i don't know why even myself i i questioned myself like why a lot of people like this bag well i like it i love it but i didn't expect this bag to have the most compliments and it is in this signature canvas uh material it's with this c signature on this side and on this side is the horse and carriage and with calf leather trim or trimming over here and on top on the side and calf leather on the bottom it came with four feet and with this um handle over here and if I turn it around, I think one of the reasons why people compliment this bag is because of this one. <laughs> My accessories on this bag, which a little pom-pom and this cute little bear that I purchased from the coach outlet right after I purchased this bag I thought hmm because this is my first signature canvas coach bag and when I saw this one on the coach outlet website I'm like hmm I think it will be perfect for my um, tote bag also by the way it also came with this web strap that I like because it's so thick and it's so solid you can see the quality is just amazing of this web strap so thick and even the hardware uh the brass hardware the quality of this one you can tell how gorgeous or how amazing is the quality and of course just one big hole the only thing i don't like about this bag is the the opening or the closure because it's just magnetic magnetic uh, button here and it's kind of easy to open as well and i have my insert inside which is so perfect for this bag it is the same you know i got this one from i think from ebay when i have not discovered yet timu <laughs> um or probably timu hasn't been introduced and uh, so yeah i got this from ebay and i'm so happy that i got this one because it's just look at that just perfect so now let's move on to the smallest bag i have in my collection and it is the <laughs> this one here the how do you call this the mark jacobs the mj's mini Mark Jacobs leather crossbody bag. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm so sorry because the name on the website is so confusing. And so yeah, this is a present from my friends on my 40th birthday. And uh, yeah, Ananya, Steph, and Naru. If you're watching, thank you again. So this is 
the smallest bag in my collection. Well, I ha I also have the Coach Bandit Crossbody bag, but after testing and putting stuff inside, I find that I can put a little bit more stuff in my cross in my Coach Bandit Crossbody bag compared to this one. So that's why I picked this one as the smallest one, and it's just flat closure and it has a zipper compartment here on the front and look i mean i like this one i think uh, i received this one last month and i've used this probably four or five times already and yeah my phone s20 samsung s23 ultra fits perfectly in this bag um so yeah it has a back pocket by the way and i love the leather quality on this one to be honest i'm actually thinking because i'm beginning to like this bag already and thinking of getting um the bigger version of this one but on different color we'll see we'll see but yeah so the smallest bag of mine in my collection and now let's proceed to the biggest one the biggest bag in my collection so we got one two three four so this is the fifth one <laughs> It is the, I have not featured this bag in my ch YouTube channel and it is the, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can't remember the exact name of this bag. I will try to search it on the internet, but this is from Oraton. Oraton is a Australian brand and they are really competing really, really well in the market here in Australia. I'm not sure if they have this anywhere else in the world I'm not too sure yet and so yeah this is made of uh is it canvas I don't know canvas is it canvas yeah <laughs> canvas and with a leather trimming so the handle is the shoulder strap is made of leather and the trimming also is made of leather and the logo here at the front of the bag is made of leather over here the trimming but this this side here is like a ah i don't know it's it's like a wooded wooded but with leather leather touch on top i don't know how you call it but i, I think i purchased this one about a year ago and it was on sale so might as well just get it because I love I love the color and I love it and you see this you see it's so square the shape is square but look it can be this shape as well how beautiful it is I think it's 40 oh my god 45 centimeter this bag and I have the insert here because the, the interior color is white and I do not want to stain it, you know. And so, yeah, it's just one main compartment inside and there's a zipper pocket in the back. I don't think Oriton um, still have this bag. I think they have, I, I'm not sure if this is a limited edition, but yeah, the biggest bag in my collection is from Oriton that I love, love, love so much, guys. If you want me to make a review, of this bag please leave a comment down below and i'll i'll do it i'll do it one day let's go with the, the classiest bag in my collection is from coach again and it is the the coach revel bag in regular size and it's in this beautiful beautiful dark stone color oh my goodness me look at this guys look at her tell me if she's not gorgeous just tell me all right let me sip another coffee it's getting cold it's so pretty it's beautiful and yeah what else can i say about this bag this is one part of their 1941 collection because you can see or you can tell from here uh it has this 1941 coach tag and yeah i just love it guys and it can fit a ton a ton of stuff in this bag and came with this crossbody strap honestly i never used a crossbody strap 
I use this bag as is like this just the top handle because I feel that this bag is meant to be carried like this you know like a hand carry and so yeah the classiest bag in my collection the oldest bag in my collection well not the oldest in my possession but because this is classified as vintage so it is the oldest in my collection i purchased this bag i think three three months ago and it is again from coach it is the coach hamptons coach hamptons soho vintage bag i got this one from etsy and i got a great deal from the seller and yeah i'm very very happy with this purchase because i only paid about 100 oh my god 118 or oh, i can't remember just around that that figure between 100 to 120 australian dollars and so yeah it didn't come with extra strap it's just this shoulder strap like this but i love it guys the leather on this bag is gorgeous I mean, I think this bag, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, uh, was made year two thousand and two. Sorry, I think my eyeliner is taking down there. Am I the only one that hates this one when you put eyeliner, and then it just, I hate it anyway. <laughs> and so yeah, where was I? Yeah, I love the letter on this one, and I love the the look, very vintage old school old style classic and look at this i love this fabric line lining here inside with their signature coach logo and yeah very spacious this bag is so spacious and i love it i love it i love it the oldest bag in my collection which is about 22 or 23 years old let's move on to the cutest bag of mine okay may i show you two and and i'll try to convince myself which one i'll pick <laughs> so i have two both from coach i have this coach camilla bucket bag that i purchased just last month and this one about three or four months ago this is the coach ruby uh, in 18 size which is so so freaking adorable and cute this one is you know what I'll pick this one this is cute it makes me feel young I don't know because of the color the, the style the look of it I love the leather on this one though but I'm sorry Camila I will choose uh, Ruby this is my most adorable coach bag look at her oh my god oh my goodness just freaking freaking cute adorable just the combination of this color here of the the jacquard and this tan rust color here is just oh, just gorgeous just gorgeous i know this is not for everyone because it's so petite but i love it it's also part of their 1941 collection because it has this 1941 coach tag but again tell me guys if this one is not freaking adorable and cute just tell me i that's it guys my most or the cutest bag in my collection the coach ruby satchel 18 and okay you sit down there okay and now let's move on to the last two okay my favorite bag at the moment because you know ladies we change you know our mind change constantly and who knows probably in a few months time i have another favorite bag and it is the coach bandit yeah i just love the look of it the style it's just so simple classy yeah i don't know and the leather of course the leather is made of 
full grain leather. I just, I already have four of these guys. Three shoulder bag and one crossbody. And don't be surprised if I get another one. And so yeah, the bandit, this is in my favorite color. I love green, green is my favorite color. And this is the Amazon green. And I love that it came here in Australia because we don't have some of the coach bags that you guys have there in the US. And um, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so jealous. It's also part of their 1941 collection because of this tag here, the 1941 tag. And yeah, I just love it. What else can I say about this bag? Oh, I love the smell. And so yeah, the Bandit is my favorite bag at the moment. <laughs> as of now yeah and the last one my dream bag and it is the coach rogue 25 in black this is a present from my husband and yeah so this has a sentimental value in a special place in my heart not only because it is my dream bag but because it's from my husband and uh, so yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it so much. Um, how I wish I got the older version of this one. I know the older version of the Coach Rogue in black has a gold stitching. And oh my God, when I saw that one, I was like, I wish I, I can get that one. Because the contrast of that gold uh, stitching and the black bebbled oh my god it's just so beautiful by the way i love the pebble leather on this one it's just guys it's just so soft and i'm pretty sure the leather is just gonna get better and softer i am head over heels in love with this bag it's just so gorgeous guys yeah i'm not gonna go into further details about this one so i think that's about it we made it through the last one <laughs> and i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you have any question just leave a comment down below but again i am not a professional bag reviewer nor an expert i can only try my best again julie thank you for the tag so again guys have a lovely weekend wherever you are be good be safe be kind bye mm -hmm.